Hello guys, let's take another theorem, theorem 8.3 which says when two opposite sides of a quadrilateral are equal then it is a parallelogram. It's been given to you that it's a quadrilateral and it has been also given that their opposite sides are equal. So let's suppose and it is also a quadrilateral ABCD where BD is a diagonal of this quadrilateral and you already know that opposite sides of this is equal AB is equal to CD and AD is equal to BC and BD is equal to BD. This has been given to you that opposite sides of a quadrilateral are equal and this is a common branch. So now from all of these conditions when three sides of a triangle are equal to the three sides of other triangle then those two triangles are congruent to each other. So from above these three conditions you know that triangle ADB is congruent to triangle BDC, triangle BDC. And when two triangles are congruent to each other then they have to be similar. So their angles have to be similar. That's how you will prove that that this, this is a parallelogram. In theorem 8.2, what we prove that in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal. It has been given to you that opposite sides are equal. So of course it will be a parallelogram. Hence proved. As these two triangles are congruent to each other, their angles should be similar or their opposite angles should be similar so that their opposite sides become similar as I proved in triangle in theorem 8.2. So that's how these if opposite sides of a quadrilateral are equal this will make it a parallelogram. I will be taking more theorems in the next video lecture. Thank you.